Uh, breaking news here on Good Morning Football as we're going to have Ian Rappaport discuss in just a minute. But the Carolina Panthers, having started out 1-10 in, in 2023, they are last in their division. They are last in the NFC. They lost to the Titans yesterday. They have relieved their head coach, Frank Reich, in his first season as head coach of the Panthers of his duties. Ian, what else can you tell us? That's right. Just a couple minutes ago, owner David Tepper informing Frank Reich that he is officially out as Carolina Panthers head coach. A 1-10 in 10 start, mismanagement, ugly game yesterday. Of course, that was not all, though. This is all about the development of the quarterback, or I should say lack thereof, development of the quarterback. Bryce Young, the number one overall pick, someone uh, the organization uh, certainly believes in, wants to succeed, think is going to be a franchise quarterback, and it was just not happening under Frank Reich. So after a rough, rough first season, Reich does not even make it through. He is now officially fired. Special teams coordinator Chris Tabor, who does have some experience as the interim, uh, did it in Chicago. He now steps in uh, as the interim coach. Jim Caldwell, who had been uh, working with this, this organization, essentially steps in to assist with the offense. He will now work with Thomas Brown, the offensive coordinator, to try to get this offense right. The team meeting that's going to be going on uh, in a couple minutes, Chris Tabor expected to lead that meeting, David Tepper, also expected to address the team. But the headline here, Frank Reich out as Carolina Panthers head coach. All right, it's our second head coach we've seen relieved of his duties so far this season in the NFL. Ian Rappaport, thank you so much. Uh, get back to us if anything else develops. Peter, it's curious, in the 24-hour time span, we saw the Panthers lose for the 10th time. Yesterday, we heard their owner left the locker room, dropping a one-word expletive yeah. out of frustration. And David Tepper, now he makes this decision to fire Frank Reich today. Yeah, one and done is not even appropriate. It was barely one mm -hmm. and done. And that's with a rookie quarterback. So that is the shortest leash I can imagine. And you're talking about a coach who not only came in as a guy who had won a Super Bowl with Philadelphia, but also... Kevin is like the veteran guy who's going to steady the ship after the Matt Rule era, and it was anything but. Um, the Panthers have the most expensive coaching staff in the entire NFL. It's mm. not just Frank Reich. Uh, Evero, the defensive coordinator, makes a ton of money for a defensive coordinator. Deuce Staley's on that staff. Josh McCown is on that staff. Jim Caldwell is on that staff. It is a, the most expensive coaching staff in all of football. And when you go one thing, I think someone needs to take the blame, and I guess it's going to be Reich, but you're right if you're at home and you're like, are you serious, dude, as you're looking at the owner? You're going to fire another coach. You fired Rivera. Mm -hmm, you fired mm -hmm. Matt Rule, and now you're firing this guy um, only 11, 12 games in. But I guess Tepper at this point is just like, no, I, can't, I don't need to watch this anymore. Guess what? His, his money is it's limitless, and his power is limitless in this organization. He bought this team. He could do what he wants. He did not want to watch another game being coached by Frank Reich. So they ripped the bandaid off now, and they could start the process to find the next six coach uh, and get a head start on the other side of the NFL. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one in ten, and you look at it, and I think to the point of what Ian said, it was the development of Bryce Young. It doesn't look like it was getting better at any form or fashion as you watch the Carolina Panthers week after week. Chris Tabor taking over the special teams coach. I was with Tabes and Cleveland. Cleveland, he's a guy that gets along and he can relate to every single player. As a, special team, as a special teams coach, the one unique thing about that position is you touch everybody, offense, defense, and in between. So I think it'll be interesting to see how he moves everything going forward. Thomas Brown, the offensive coordinator, along with Jim Caldwell, you said Shrakes, who now is in Bryce Young's ear the most. McCown is also the, also the quarterback's coach. So he's out not even a year. Frank Reich, the vet coach, kind of surprising. We get through this season, it makes me wonder who's going to want that job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe some, maybe he'll just throw millions and millions of dollars at someone so they'll take it. More importantly, you wake up right now, you see this news, you say, I don't care about the Panthers. Fine. This is very important as it pertains to the draft. Very important. So understand, if they have some jump right now, which you often see with interim coaches, where what do you know? They won a couple games down the stretch. That changes everything. The Panthers right now are the worst team league. It means they have the number one pick, which actually means the Chicago Bears have the number one overall pick yeah. for all your Marvin Harrisons and Caleb's and on and on. If they start to win and they get out of that number one spot, then Arizona could move in, or in a crazy development, New England could move in. They're currently at the three, the New England Patriots, Belichick. So what I'm saying is, you hire a special teams coach, often we see the jump. The, the schedule is pretty mushy for the rest of the way for the Panthers. Mm -hmm. They could win a game, they could win a couple games. This thing could shake out that Bill Belichick has the number one overall pick or that the Cardinals do again. So it's almost like, does David Tepper want them to win? Does he care because it's not their pick? I don't know where it's going, but I know he likes firing people, and apparently he fires coaches on the soccer team too. I don't know who the next coach is, but buckle up. <laughs>
David Tepper's uh, big decision last spring was not only that he had hired Frank Reich, but that he picked Bryce Young as his number yep. one overall pick. And uh, this season, whether you like it or not, is in stark contrast to what we've seen out of the number two overall pick in C.J. Stroud with the Houston Texans. So yep. he obviously needs to find somebody over the next couple of seasons to get Bryce Young to a place where he is playing as the number one overall pick. Who that will be, we will, of course, will discuss here on Good Morning Football when we return 